Amy. Welcome to Walking Watering Hole. What can I get for you today? Oh, I'll just have the usual. Alright, count it up. Can I get anything else for you tonight? Oh, I think I just need a glass of water. Okay, well, Lake Whatcom is our only source of drinking water here in Bellingham, so the only choice you have is a Lake Whatcom special. Oh, what's in that? Well, it started off with pure, fresh water, but throughout the years, humans have added dish soap, right? motor oil, laundry detergent, really? fertilizers, and phosphorus from other household items. Wow, that's a lot. Over time, humans have polluted Lake Whatcom, but because residents of Whatcom County were concerned about the water quality, a phosphorus ban has been implemented. Phosphorus and household cleaning items such as detergents have been banned. However, the effects of use still remain in the water. The phosphorus ban alone cannot decrease water pollution. Phosphorus is found in fertilizer, pesticides, car wash soap, plants and animal waste. Soil erosion, logging, road building, construction, and rock breakdown also contribute to phosphorus entering the lake. Because many surfaces are impervious, the phosphorus from these sources remains on the top layer of the surface and is easily carried by rain runoff to the lake. When phosphorus enters the lake, especially in excess amounts, this causes massive algae growth. Bacteria will start to consume the algae and use up the available oxygen in the water. This leads to areas of water with low to no oxygen and the plants and underwater life die due to lack of oxygen. Water will start to contain mercury in low oxygen areas and the mercury makes its way into sediment. This sediment will make its way into the food chain and eventually end up in fish, which is very dangerous for human consumption. This all results in a more costly water filtration process because a more intense filtration system must be used. What can you do to reduce pollution in Lake Whatcom? Use fertilizer with no phosphorus. When you buy fertilizer, look for a zero on the bag where chemical levels are indicated. The level of phosphorus will be the second number. Replace impervious surfaces like traditional cement driveways and walkways with porous concrete and gravel. Don't landscape in the rainy season, but when you do landscape, you can plant rain gardens which collect storm water. Buy a rain barrel to collect rainwater so less runoff is created. They can be purchased at Target, Walmart, and other stores. The water can be reused for your own gardening purposes. Go to the car wash instead of washing your car at home. Car washes dispose of the soapy water properly, which prevents phosphorus from washing your car from going into the lake. Use curbside service to pick up household and lawn waste. If you dispose of your garden clippings and household trash properly, it will not end up in the lake. Wow, I can't believe all that's in the water.